Hello everyone, Ghost of Red Seas here, and today we are back with another video uh, on God of War Ragnarok. This time it's about the equipment and the items uh, that you need. I'm going to show you exactly where to get them and exactly how to get everything you need for these past videos built. Uh, thank you everyone, we actually made it, 1k subscribers, this this was the, the first milestone and we actually made it. And on top of that, before the end of the year, which was my goal, uh, Thanks, thanks everyone, man. It's it's really really appreciated. Uh, we're gonna continue. We're gonna you know give more uh, videos about God of War Ragnarok uh, guides. We're gonna go over also new games when they come up uh, and they come out. Uh, we've had a lot of trailers uh, coming out. Final Fantasy 16, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, the DLC that's gonna come in. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna have a a new game plus. Uh, for uh, God of War Ragnarok, we might even go back to the God of War 2018 and do a playthrough of this. Uh, so guys, let me know in the comment if that's something that is interesting for you guys, uh, so I can uh, get on with it. So without any further ado, let's get it. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have uh, to be able to get in and uh, check how you can get everything that I use. Uh, first and foremost, let's go with the axe. Uh, the first thing in the axe is the pommel. We have the Purest Maul. Uh, this one you can get super easily. You will receive it uh, after defeating Thor uh, for the first time during the, um, uh, the main quest, basically. Uh, this one is really good once it gets to level 9, sorry. Um, since it gets 63 strength, one of the best uh, uh, pommel attachment you can get in the game. Uh, for the runic attacks, I use Hell's Touch and Invaldi's Anvil, as you can see in my videos. Um, Hell's Touch, you get it by opening a legendary chest in Alfheim after completing the uh, Reckoning quest. For Invaldi's Anvil, you get the uh, heavy runic attack um, when you go in the derelict outpost in Midgard. Uh, this is where the actual troll is. Um, there's a bunch of uh, quests and favors plus a little bit of uh, chests over there that you can open. And this is where you're going to get the Invald Invaldi's Anvil, basically. Uh, second thing, uh, these are called the Deadly Obsidian Handles. Hey, it's uh, post-production ghost back here. Um, I forgot to say that the Deadly Obsidian Handles, you actually get them in Svartalfheim uh, just by doing the actual quest so you cannot miss, miss them basically these are going to be able to be used uh for also their strength uh and uh, they give a rage burst on uh, blade kills uh flames of anguish these you can get them uh pretty also early uh if i'm not mistaken you get them uh by uh, killing one of the Durki, Drekki, sorry uh when you get to Svartalfheim, when you go into the mines to rescue tier in the tier sorry in the beginning of the game uh the nemean crush you get them via the uh the runic attack can be found in the legendary chest located at the burrows in alfheim after freeing the second uh basically a medusa uh from the song of the desert sand quest uh, that's it for this one, uh, the Dopnir Spear, so the Hind of the Nine Realms, this one you can be found uh, by uh, the Berserker Gravestone in the Apple Core in Svartalfheim. So whenever you go, you come back, uh, after almost completing the game, you can uh, use your newly acquired spear to uh, complete some puzzles and go into the Apple Core, get the Berserker Gravestone over there, and it's gonna give you the Hind of Nine Realms. Really good uh, because it's gonna give us a uh, realm shift whenever we do L1 plus triangle. I've been using this one uh, pretty consistently and uh, I, I like it very, very much. Uh, for the light runic attack, we have the Huldra Charge. Uh, this one, we get it from... It's dropped after the fight with uh, the two ogres in Svartalfheim, uh, which uh, takes place after, be after obtaining the uh, Dopney Spear. So as soon as you actually get the spear, um, you're gonna get the, uh, uh, the the light runic attack also. For the heavy runic attack, we're gonna have the Honor of the Fallen. Uh, this runic attack can be found in a legendary chest located at the west part of the plains in Vanaheim. You gain access to the area when you initiate the 
uh, for Vanaheim quest, which leads you to the area in Vanaheim called the Crater. I love this place. It's abundant with favors and side quests. Uh, if you haven't done it, please do because you're going to get a lot of items over there that you wouldn't be able to have otherwise. It is missable because it's a side quest and it's a favor. Um, so uh, if ever you do have time before completing the game or after the game, go do it because there's a lot of things to do there. Killing dragons, uh, killing bosses, uh, ogres. There's a lot of equipments you can get. So please, if you didn't do it, go there. The crater. Uh, it's going to be one of my next videos. It's going to be a full playthrough and a full comprehensive guide on what to do over there uh, and that's it for the spear for the shield uh pretty straightforward we have the dauntless shield dauntless shield sorry uh this one you actually you can actually get it uh in as soon as you break your your first shield when you uh when you fight poor uh Sindri is going to give you an option to get two of the shields this is one of them you can get it as early as the beginning of the game uh, and just upgrade it to level 9. I love this one. Uh, gives you the ability to parry. And uh, if you're good enough, it's going to help you through the whole game. I'm actually doing a playthrough right now on uh, Give Me God of War mode. So um, all the uh, Nansayers in the commentary saying that uh, all the builds that I have aren't viable over there. I'm going to show you guys that you can actually use them too over there. Um, and that's about it. For this one, the round of Disruption, we're going to get the run of the of uh, disruption by completing the uh, a stag of all season favor in Valheim. once again this is in the crater uh, there's a bunch of uh, stags uh, that are a little bit around the the crater there's four of them you need to get them back into uh, the uh, the tree so uh, this is also another uh, fun little quest and it's going to give you a pretty uh, pretty nice uh, run in my opinion <laughs> all right um we're going with the spartan rage we have wrath and valor both of them are unlocked uh via the uh quest the main quest in the game so you cannot miss this uh and the relic also once again you cannot miss this one because uh heimdall gives it to you when you actually kill him um through the main quest once once again talking about armor the chest armor we're using the uh berserkers Chris. We are using um, this one because of the uh, Soulless Warrior passive. Using a Relic massively increases the damage of Kratos uh, melee attack and also the damage received for a duration. I know I'm saying Kratos. Uh, I sometimes I say Kratos. Sometimes I say Kratos. I speak French. Uh, this is my first language. English is my second. So for all the non-sayers in the commentary, please uh, leave me alone. I, it's it's how I speak. Yeah, I'm not making this uh, purposely, but you know, sometimes with another accent, with another language, we say things differently. So uh, just be it, you know. Uh, the Berserker Caress, you can get it through the Berserker Grave in Alfheim. Uh, basically, this is the Ber the King of Berserkers uh, side quest, the favor. Uh, if you don't know about it, there's uh, around nine Berserker Gravestone that you can actually. Uh, engage and kill the, 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 they're gonna summon berserkers that you need to kill actually uh, they're all gonna drop some loot it's basically the same thing as the valkyries in uh, god of war 2018 but this time there's more of them and there's also a king of berserkers at the end in midgard waiting for you whenever you kill them all uh, pretty fun pretty fun side quest in my opinion uh, this is for the armor for the waist uh, no, for the wrist, sorry, for the Berserker Gauntlets, you actually get the Gauntlets uh, through the same thing, you just need to kill the Berserker in uh, Niflheim. Uh, for Niflheim, you will get access to killing the Berserker only after completing the game, so after killing uh, Odin and uh, Thor, to be able to um, go over the quest called Beyond Ragnarok. Uh, this is gonna unlock pretty much everything in the game, and uh, you'll be able to uh, receive a seed of Yggdrasil from Rotha Tasker, that's going to give you access to uh, this place and go and kill that Berserker. Uh, we can also use Lunda's Lost Bracer, which I love. Uh, the melee attack against poisoned enemies uh, increased, so we can get up to 40%. And this one, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is in Vanaheim, but it's not in the crater. It's before, it's where there's the waterfalls and where you do the uh, actual side quest with, uh, with Freya, where she gets back her i think her sword that's where you, you, you get back i'm not been a while uh but uh yeah there's a lunda is the other um the other smith uh the dwarf smith the other one the the, the girl 
uh, that uh, basically has like a side quest whenever you're almost done with Vanaheim. Um, and you can find the Lunda's Lost Bracer and Lunda's uh, Lost the Belt in the same area that's still in Vanaheim. Uh, they're both in, um, I think, in, in a chest uh, somewhere. But it's a side quest, so you're going to uh, be able to find it really easily. Uh, or else we also have the Berserker's Waste Guard. Uh, this one you can uh, get it from the Midgard uh, Berserker Grave. Not the King of Berserker, but the Midgard one. That's about it for this. For the amulet, uh, I'm not going to go over these because they're pretty easy to get. It's straightforward. You just need to do the game. Uh, some of them give like plus 20 cooldown and uh, another plus 20 somewhere, I think. These one might might you might get them through uh, favors and side quests, but it, any of them will use. So if you use any of three Varaheims uh, enchantments, you're going to get uh, the actual set for the melee damage to status affected enemies. Uh, Asgard is the same thing. This is for the uh, instant immolation attack with the blades, uh, instant triangle. If you didn't see the video, it's right here. It has a 140,000 views right now. So please go give it some support. It's uh, it's uh, it's pretty nice, you know. Um, Boon of Wrath. There you go. Boon of Wrath. We're gonna find it in um, by defeating. Yes, you have to. You find it by defeating the Hell Traveler in the reunion main quest. So as soon as uh, you kill the Traveler, uh, that's, that looks like he's from Hell. And it's from the main quest. You're gonna, you're gonna actually be able to, uh, to find this one. Um, there's Boon of Wrath and there's Boon of Valor that, that I've been using. Boon of Valor, this one you'll get it uh, by defeating Blatten in uh, Creatures of Creatures, sorry, of in of Prophecy. Um, this is also a uh, main quest, so you, you're absolutely gonna get it uh, just by doing the actual uh, story game. Uh, after that, we have Sigil of Doom. This one is obtained by completing the Trail of the Dead favor in Vanaheim. Once again, I, this is in the crater, uh, and you will be able to um, just uh, get it from there, basically. Uh, let's go back into the amulet right here. Uh, the next one is the Crest of uh, Desperate Heroics. This one right here, that if you get, uh, get one-shot, basically, and you're still in your green health, uh, you're basically not gonna die and get a invincibility barrier for five seconds. Uh, this one is obtained by completing the uh, Casualty of War, the Brooch favor at uh, the Plains in Vanaheim. Once again, this is in the Crater. Uh, please do it if you haven't. This is one of the best places in the game to get end game equipment. And we're gonna finish by uh, the Seal of Runic Storm, my baby. This is one of the best enchantments you can get in the game. Uh, whatsoever. Once again, this one you can also get it in Vanaheim. Uh, it's after completing the Burning Skies uh, quest. Once again, in the crater. So if you haven't done it, do it because this is where you're gonna get all the nice skills. And, and there you go. There you have it. This was my full guide on the equipment, where to actually get them, and what we've been using. Uh, if you've been following a little bit, do the actual crater. It's in Vanaheim. It's at completely optional but you have to do it because it's where almost the best gear in the game is uh that being said thank you to anyone that stayed until the end of the video i know it's a bit of a long one this one but uh, it's important for me to be able to give you all the important details once again thank you very much don't forget don't forget to subscribe and uh leave a comment or a like the giveaway is still on we still have 15 days Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. Do it. This was Ghost of Red Seas. Thank you very much, everyone. Peace.